Um, been going since uh, since birth. Yeah. All right, walk her a little bit. Hello, how are you? My name is Jesse. Say hi. Hi, there Jesse. You go. I got it. I got this. Here we go. Uh, okay. Good. All right, that's fine. Can I pick you up? I'm gonna pick you up. Uh, hello. So I'm gonna lay you down. So lay down, relax. Come on, come on over here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Mom's gonna hang on with you. So what happens with people who have cerebral palsy, there's, um, I don't know if you read my website, I don't know if you yeah, have, we don't. All right. <coughs> so there's uh, a thing called, I, I don't know if they explained this to you, an upper motor neuron and a lower motor, lower motor neuron. So the nerves go from the brain down the spinal cord, and then there's another nerve that goes from the spinal cord to the muscles, okay? So if the bottom nerve, what they call a motor, you know, muscles are basically motors, right? So if the bottom nerve gets cut or something happens to it, the muscles go weak and flaccid, all right? If the top nerve gets affected, then the muscles, or then the lower nerve goes nuts all the time. And that manifests as tight muscles because the nerves are firing all the time so the muscles get spastic. All right? <coughs> so there's a guy who discovered that if you stretch a nerve, it stops working. And if you take the stretch off, it starts working again. Now there's three layers or three gradients, three grades. You can stretch the nerve, and then you take the stretch off and immediately it starts working again. You can stretch the nerve enough so that it damages the membrane of the nerve, the outside of the nerve, and then you have to take the stretch off and keep it off for three or four days, maybe two weeks, somewhere between there. And then it starts working, and there's things that are ripped and cut and they're not coming back. All right? So usually, especially in somebody young, it's just stretch. So we're going to get her unstuck, and what's happening is the spine and, and nerves get stretched, mm -hmm. and so she ends up like this. Now, there's adhesions. You know what adhesion is? Things that get stuck together, all right? <coughs> there's layers inside of her spine that cover things, and when they get stretched, they start to grow together and stick together. Okay. So we're going to stretch her real far. We're going to start pulling some of those apart, and we're going to put some of the bones back in a better position. And then what's going to happen is she's going to be less spastic. Now, how much she's going to improve, how much, it, how long it takes, and how she goes, I can't tell you exactly because that depends on too many factors. And you can't stretch it all at once; it has to go gradual by degrees. Yes. Yeah. If you want to stretch it all at once, you'll have like three different parts here. Yeah. That's not going to work, right? But usually, you'll see a substantial response immediately. Actually. And we have to figure out which way to go because we can't tell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch you all the way around this way, and we're going to find out if it bothers you, okay? So we stretch this way. And yeah, I know. Bothers me too. Now, I don't know if you know, but her hand just went. You notice her arm just went looser? I See, her, her arm was stuck out like this. Now, I stretched her, but all of a sudden, her arm was loose. All right, Yes, I know. Look at her hand. She's got more control of her hand and her fingers. Mm -hmm. 
you know, remember before she was all like this? Now they're loosened. Now they're loosened, and look at her legs are back. <laughs> yeah. So the things that went loose are things that were stretched. Now the stretch is off, and all of a sudden the muscles are working again. Mm -hmm. So if you stand her up and have her walk a little bit, and I know it'll take a little bit to get her going. Well, she, she, she's doing different things. She, she, I've made enough change in her body that she no longer knows exactly what's going on. You can bring her back. You can pick her up. You don't need to. So she no longer knows. You know, it's like, oh, what's going on with my body now? All of a sudden, things are moving that weren't and all that stuff. And so she's going to have to get used to her body being different. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how much this will disappear? And how much it'll stay depends on things she does sitting, sleeping, and standing. <clears throat> but if she responds that well, like immediately, I mean, this is like a huge change. You know, before we had to drag her along and she was on her toes and all that. And she's actually taking steps now. And she'll, she'll unwind. 